Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day today. My name is Justin Garner. I'm a landscape photographer. You guys can check my work out at Justin Garner with three R's on Instagram. Anyways, in this video, we're just gonna be doing a quick Lightroom Classic tutorial and probably works in Lightroom as well and Lightroom Mobile. And uh, when we're done, I'm gonna give away the preset that I used in this photo. So it's gonna be like a cloudy um, preset, I guess. And it also will be available in my full preset pack that I'll be releasing soon. Anyways, let's get right into the edit. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is add a 4x5 crop because I probably will be posting this um, on Instagram and also all my prints are in that ratio and then also if you guys are curious yes I'm recording with my webcam my camera is broken right now so um, that kind of sucks but actually it looks pretty good I was looking at um you know some of the test recordings and it looks decent anyways um yeah like I said we're just gonna be starting off with a 4x5 crop I always do this for almost all of my photos and then I always try auto crop um, sometimes I like it sometimes I don't in this case, I do like it. Um, it does look a little bit more natural. So yeah, um, I almost always bring up the exposure and it looks like um, my highlights are clipped right there. But I'll try. Oh, never mind. I can recover basically all that detail right there. Anyway, I'll kind of match that in there. Now that I was able to bring the highlights down. Okay, I like that blends a little bit better. You can like notice it um, a little bit just cause I mean, you guys saw me edit it. And you guys know that I did it, but you know, somebody just scrolling on Instagram or somebody printing this, you probably won't notice it. Normally I don't go into, you know, brushes or radial filters or anything like that. Like when I first start, um, but in this case, I really did want to take care of that sky first. In almost every single photo that I edit, um, I bring contrast like out of the photo, I guess, because I just like that. It's kind of my style, I guess. Um, anyways, I'll bring the shadows up to 100% normally. And I like the way that looks. Um, you know, a low contrast, um, not very moody. I, like, I just don't like the way that looks. I like that a lot more. But uh, yeah, we're not done yet because normally I'll increase the, uh, the saturation and you know already that looks better but uh normally i don't just use the saturation slider so i just find you know it's a little lazy and um basic i guess um i don't want to be like one of those one of those people but uh it is a little basic in my opinion and i mean you can just go into so much more detail like um you know bringing up the saturation on different colors specifically um but in this case actually it didn't look that bad you know just right there didn't look that bad since I don't mind increasing the saturation of their overall image. I am just gonna find where that works. And it's, you know, a lot easier as well. But uh, yeah, so I recommend trying to use the HSL uh, or color tool if, uh, <clears throat> if it's just like a couple of specific colors or one specific color that you're trying to draw your attention to. Anyways, that's basically it for the tutorial um, is, uh, I always try to put on the chromatic aberration um, thing. It works pretty well, but uh, sometimes I forget. And it, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But uh, okay, I'm editing this video with my broken headphones on and I just realized I did not finish the preset. I said I was gonna give you guys for free. So um, I'll put this in the description. Uh, there'll be a download link in the description for this. Uh, I'm just gonna name it JG. Um, <clears throat> cloudy um, preset, and then like I said, there's going to be a link in the description where you can download it. And uh, yeah, that's just going to be this edit. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, my this photo will be up on my Instagram and uh, my website when I get my website fixed. Uh, but other than that, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the video, or no, subscribe to my channel, like this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I'm not the best at doing tutorials. I hope I'll get better. And also I'm recording on the webcam and the table shaking a lot. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. That's all, folks.